Hmm? Here's a big old El Camino. What year are you? 67 El Camino, 350. You gotta love the emblems. Uh, you know, plus, hey, this is utilitarian. You can, <laughs> you, you can, haul, you can haul a load of wood in that thing yeah, right. and then show it the next day at a car show. Guy, I think we've seen this yellow Mustang at another car show. And this thing, what what a color that stands out. Yeah, you know? you're exactly right. You know, you could be going down the road and you're not going to miss this thing. I don't think the birds are going to miss it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's something because people with yellow Corvettes talk about how much they attract fleas and bugs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So uh, I don't know if that same applies to, I don't know if they're just partial to Corvettes yeah. or, if, or if it's just yellow. Okay. Know? Okay, here's Yellow another uh, 69 two. Camaro. I think it is a 69. Yes, it is with a big block. You know, there are some names of cars that would just last forever. One of them is Super Sport. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. And the first year of the Super Sport was? Uh, okay, I'm going to say 61. You're right. You're right. They, they came out Impala Super Sport. and there weren't that many super sports they had the Impala but they brought out the super sports and there were only about I think less than 200 super sports you're kidding I, you know, it was a, it was a very limited edition offering but obviously it must have taken off because 62 they had yeah a bunch yeah more, yeah, right? yeah and, and that's when it went full bore you know that's when it went full bore and did you say you like 62 Chevy I do that's my favorite Big Chevrolet is a 62. We all have our favorites. We do. And that's why we have our favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're down here. Oh my goodness. Trans Am. Right? Trans Am. A 6.6 .6 liter. So which is, what are you figuring? A, a liter is about 60 cubic inches? About or that, yeah. Like that? Mm -hmm. Somewhere around there? If I'm not mistaken, my GTO was a 6.5. Okay. So a 6.6. .6 Okay. I don't know. 395? I don't what know. What was the uh, big uh, movie TV shows that had the Grand Am? Or uh, Trans Am? Smokey and the Smokey Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit. Yeah. 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 Burt Reynolds and Sally Field. And yeah. Sally Field. You're so right. Oh, gee. That was some big time stuff. Well, Trans Am became a very popular car because they of that. They did. They really, really Ooh. did. We've got some British here. Yes, yes. No, my wife would love that. Mm -hmm. For some reason, she like loves mm -hmm. the British Triumphs. Yes. <laughs> and a Studebaker. I love this. Uh, you know what? How sometimes many it's cool to be different. You're, you know? you're right. You know, and how many Studebakers do you see? You just don't. No. You know? No. Look at six-cylinder, nice and clean. Look. And some of those V8 Studebakers were just beasts. They really, <laughs> really were. 67 GTO. First year of the 400 cubic inch mo oh, really? engine yes mm -hmm. and they got rid of the uh three two barrels to have four barrels I was going to... all right so they put three deuces on what? our 64 65 and 66 that was an option that was an that option was 389, right? it was 389 yeah you could either get a four barrel or two or three two barrels in wow. but then in 67 they went to the 400 cubic inch and just a single four barrel corvair, corvair. yes yeah, ralph know. nader's favorite car <laughs> And we all know where the engine of this thing is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. This thing's built up, isn't it? Yeah, I think we've got a little, got little, a little race there. history in this thing. Wow. Just a little bit. Okay, there's the hood on top, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah he needs some room for... Yeah. Hey, we'll probably see this thing at Eastside. No. Okay. I'm surprised we're not seeing as many Novas. You know, we this is this the first one we've seen the today? The sec second one. There's one on the other road. Okay. Okay. That's, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I forgot about that. You know, the Novas are really, really popular. You know, that was a low-budget car for kids, and it was pretty well styled nicely. I, you know, it, really it was. was. Hmm? It was. You could still get four people in it comfortably. Oh, sure. You know? And, you know, and they were light, and kids could soup them up with a little V8 engine. This thing has a 327, at least it's badged that way. You could, you could be, you know, you, you could beat some people on the streets with that. And oh, a 55. Course. It doesn't get any more classic than a 55. No, no, it doesn't. You know, beautiful no, it car. Does. With, boy, look at that. It's got air conditioning on that thing. Ah, Why not? Boy, oh, boy. Let's see if he went all the way with power ones. <laughs> Still got the cranks. Still cranks, all right. 
327. Mm -hmm. I don't see a Chevy here that has one of my all-time favorite emblem on the front fender that says Super Sport 396 or 427. Well, we have to look for one. There's yeah. got to be one I here, seen Mike. One yet. There's got to be one here somewhere. And here's another little 55. Yeah, white one. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. No, this is the first time I've this seen like this a one too. I don't think this is a Bel Air, is it? Probably, didn't, didn't Bel Airs have the side trim? Yeah, you know? uh, um, probably. You know, but of course he could have taken it off when he, he restored could. it. Right. You know, um, but it's nice. Here we have a C8 Corvette. Right yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like the motor set back a little bit. I don't know. But we'll have to check it out with other. Nice. Uh oh. I think we're getting oh. Here. Yes. All right, guy. What's the first word that comes to your mind when you see this? Patina. Patina. <laughs> patina. Folks, patina is one of our favorite yes. words. We yes. love patina. Mm -hmm. okay. And you know what I love about old hot rodders? They use old license plates yeah. Yeah. for just <laughs> about everything. I love it. Yeah. Oh, isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you do what you have to do. You, you got you to hold the floorboard, get a license plate out, and weld it over. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What does it say there on the side? Uh, nice garage. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, there's rust, uh, pop rivet. That's right. That's exactly right. You know, people do a lot of neat things to their vehicles, and we really love them. And, and you know, we we encounter the full spectrum of that too, don't we? Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, now look at some of these trucks. These things are beautiful. I mean, really refurbished, nice. But, but some guys and gals will say, hey, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. As yeah. long as it runs and it gets inspected. Keep it original and, yeah, yeah. The, the way it, you know, it just, this, it just aged over the years to this. Yes. Ooh, we got some white walls on this. Mm -hmm. It's wide white walls. Yeah. What color would you call that? What color would I call that? That's a good question. That looks like a green pastel of some sort. Mm-hmm. You know, that popular 55, 56, 57 color that right. you had a lot of, that with a, could you imagine that with a black trim on it? Oh my goodness, oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> you know, I love those, like the, the yellow and the black trim Fords and things like that. It just sets them off. I am certainly a two-tone fan of those 50s cars. Yes. And trucks, yes. Yeah. Ford truck. It don't work. You never tried that, though. Ford F100, mm. V8, overdrive. With overdrive. Is that yours, sir? So it's got an overdrive in it? All oh, right. Really? And a flathead. All right. You the original owner? But you could be. Pretty close. <laughs> 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 what? So, Last year the flathead. so 54, they went to overhead valves. Did not know that. Okay. Another fun fact. Uh, that that's that's in my <laughs> yeah, well, repertoire right now. I yeah. didn't. I did not know that. Broncos. I mean, they were popular there for a while. Yes. How are we doing?